Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first week of uh, January reads, start from the 1st through the 7th of January 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, let's see how the first week of January is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding curricle cards, color cards, and a lot more in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read... Let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's dive into the read and let's find out how this week is going to be for all of you out there. The Emperor, Seven of Wands. The Hangman, Queen of Wands, Five of Cups, Ace of Cups. On the deck, we do have King of Cups. Wow. There is a lot of love coming in your life. I feel like you know the love that you wanted, the love that you wished for, the love that you prayed for is finally happening here in this week time. I really feel like you know for a majority of you, probably you have kind of given up on a connection uh, recently. Um, it can be like you giving up on them completely you giving up on your love life completely you giving up on a situation that you desire out of this connection completely like for instance if you wanted to get married you're like kind of letting it be letting it go like you're not so obsessed with the future that you wanted with this person so it can be just that but i really feel like you still have the love but at the same time you're not thinking heavily or dominantly about this person anymore i really feel like you know this is the man this is the woman of your dreams you want to have things moving forward with this person but then you really kind of like in you know, a feeling like okay fine I'm, I'm ready not to think about it at all so i feel like you know probably for for some of you you are going to walk into this year walk into this month thinking that you're no longer going to obsess over them uh, you're no longer gonna expect anything from them at all like you know not even in the future you are just letting things be and you are just moving forward with your life without thinking much about your love life in particular um i feel like you know the the attitude that you have started showing towards this person and this connection is going to um surprisingly bring you a lot of uh, you know new opportunities new possibilities where this person or somebody new might be coming towards you so i really feel like you know for majority of you you are ready to let go of whatever that you wanted and you are opening yourself up to other possibilities as well for instance if you wanted marriage with this person you are not like obsessing over marriage now you're just opening yourself up to whatever comes whatever comes you're going to take it so i feel like you know it's more of you opening yourself up to possibilities opportunities um offers that 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 you can receive right now you're not obsessing about one particular kind of love that you want one particular kind of uh, relationship that you want one particular person that you want um for those of you who wanted to get married for instance you are not like you know specifying that you wanted to marry this one person only you're opening yourself up to other people other offers coming your way as well so i really feel like you feel like you're tired and you know done with the waiting you really want your life to move forward and even though you still have feelings for this one person that you are leaving behind or you're stop expecting from but still you are going to open yourself up to new offers new possibilities out there and i really feel like you know as you're going to do that there is somebody who's going to come towards you it can be the same person that you're leaving behind that you're stopping expecting from but i really see a solid offer coming your way during this week time i really feel like you know this person is going to be the answer to your prayers now it can be like you know there is a strong possibility that it can be the same very person that you're stopping you know expecting from probably something is going to happen from there and like on you know from within them that they are going to feel like no they got to kind of like you know make a choice and make a decision about you it can be that happening but I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you are not obsessing about your love life right now. You are kind of like, you know, getting easy about it. And, uh, and now it's, it seems like, you know, now when you don't want it, everything is going to work out for you. Everything is going to kind of like, you know, start coming towards you. Offers, love, uh, proposals. I really see all of that happening now. And I feel like, you know, for majority of you, I really see you getting married very soon is what I'm picking up. The delays are finally over when it comes to your love life situations. And I really see movement ahead and that too very speedy. Um, let's see what else is happening for you in your life in this uh first week of um, January time let's see what else is coming in what else is happening 
What else is coming in? What else is happening for you for this week time? A win-win solution. Let's see what it has to add. There is strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that is magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. I really feel like, you know, um, you are becoming kind of more um, mature as you walk into this year, walk into this month. And you are going to try to kind of like, you know, be open uh, to to listen to what other people have to add as well. You're ready to kind of like, you know, have an open approach as well. For some of you, probably if you wanted certain things a certain way, you are giving up on that idea. Like uh, you are ready to kind of compromise. You're ready to kind of, um, you know, agree upon certain things that they have to say. And they are going to agree upon certain things that you have to say. So maybe there is some sort of a situation getting better that way as well. Uh, let's see what... Um, else is the oracle guidance for you for this week time let's see <clears throat> light so the fairy messages uh, the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. I really feel like, you know, you are going to become the light that you wanted uh, to come to you or to shine through you. I feel like, you know, it's, uh, it's more about you changing yourself right now. And um, for the majority of you, you are letting go of any limited beliefs, limited limitations that you are putting on yourself and you're ready to explore more ideas, more possibilities out there. So I really feel like, you know, you are basically open to accept um, whatever that comes your way, which is desirable. I really feel like you, I, I really don't see you getting into any shitty situation. I really don't see you settling in for less. I really see you opening to the possibilities of, uh, you know, for instance, if you wanted marriage, you are open to get married. But, you know, if, if it is not happening with a specific someone, you are opening to the other possibilities that are exactly how you wanted them to be. So you are not limiting yourself to one person here or specific someone that you wanted to get married to, that you wanted to have a relationship with. You are, with, you, you are more willing to be in a relationship which is satisfying, be that with the one that you loved or be that with somebody else who loves you exactly the way you wanted to be loved. So I really feel like you're looking at life from a different and a fresher perspective. And I feel like you know, that has been the case for majority majority of the signs that I've already done because there is a fresh approach to life right now. And I feel like you know all are awakening in one way or the other by kind of like you know letting newness come in their life so i really feel like you know the divine really wants you to open up to new possibilities as well let's see what color could be lucky or significant for you for this week time <clears throat> what color could be lucky or significant for you for this week time we do have lilac number 42 strengthen your faith i feel like you know you are definitely going to do that lilac color is going to be lucky for you you can wear it in clothes you can you know put the sheets of lilac color on your bed um i feel like you know it's also going to help you stay very positive and calm as well so um yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this um uh, uh, week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe and uh, till I do the next read for you guys take care and bye